This is a seven minute workout and if you do this for seven days as a challenge, then I promise you are gonna get amazing results. You can lose between one to two inches. Now this is series two because the seven minute workout I did just over a year ago has already had 28 million downloads and the most amazing results, which is why I decided to create you guys a series two. Again, targeting that belly fat area. Now what I would suggest if you haven't done a warm up, hit the pause button we're going to get straight into this workout today. You don't need any equipment. It's suitable for everyone and it's just going to take seven minutes and that's all. So the first move, you've got 15 seconds. So I'm showing you what we're going to do. So if you're a beginner, always follow me on the left. So we're going to do four straight leg kicks and then four side toe taps. Simple as that. So let's get ready. Again, if you need longer to warm up, hit the pause button. If not, let's get started. So 60 seconds on this first move. So you do four of these toe taps and then four straight leg lifts, simple as that. Now I wanted to create this workout so it's suitable for absolutely everyone, male, female, beginner, intermediate. Um, if you are a beginner, just always follow the move that I do on the left. So you can see your timer there. We are now coming up to literally, we've just got the last 30 seconds of this first move. We're not doing any repeaters, so it is going to fly by. It's a really fun workout, but the great thing is it is going to get you amazing results. All right, so let's just keep going. Make sure here as well that you're really keeping those abdominals tight, especially when you're doing the knee lift or the straight leg lift. That's good. And then you're stepping that foot out. So the idea here, we're doing what I call cardio tone. So we're stripping off belly fat as well as doing these standing functional toning abdominal exercises. You've got four. Let's go three, take it two and one. All right, so you've got 15 second preview of your next move coming up. So this one, we are simply going to be doing a light jog on the spot, but with a heel kickback. And you're just punching your arms in front. We do 15 seconds in front and 15 seconds where they take the arms above. So let's start that now. So again, if you're a beginner, follow on the left. If you want to work a little bit harder, follow me on the right. When we hit 45 seconds, we're going to punch your arms directly above. So again, here we're stripping off that belly fat. It's really important to be working on intensity and take the arms above. But also this is engaging through your core. So many people think for doing abs that they should be doing sit-ups and plank. They are so yesterday. The best way of doing standing exercises. You just got last 30 seconds to go. So let's keep that going doing really well. That's good. Keep thinking of those results. And if you are someone that's on Instagram, definitely come and find me. It's at Lucy Windermere because I post up daily motivation, results, daily tips, nutrition, literally everything. And then you can update me on your fitness and health journey. All right, let's keep that going. You've got another five seconds. Let's go four, take it three, two and one. All right, so next move, this time we're gonna be working on one leg for 30 seconds and change to the other. So you're in a split stance. Again, choose your position. Beginners on the left, intermediate on the right. If you wanna work harder on the right, we're taking the arms above the head. So there's your timer. So let's draw that up. So the benefit here is we're still working cardiovascularly, you're taking your arms above your head, but you're also really keeping those abdominals pulled in tight as you drive that knee up. So it's like doing a ab crunch, but standing up. So the difference on the left, I'm showing you it's a less intensity because we're not taking the arms above the head. That's good, and just keep that going. At 30 seconds, we're gonna change and take that to the other leg. Keep bracing those tummy muscles. And by that, let's change legs. I mean, keep pulling the belly button in tight to the spine. All right, that's good. So this is move number three. And also Facebook, I have the most amazing closed group page, which is you will find hashtag Lucy Squad amazing. If you want to get involved in a really supportive online community, then definitely go ahead and find that and sign up. It's all completely free. And let's just go last five seconds. Let's drive that up now. Go five, take it four, go three, two and one. All right, move number four. Now this time we're going to do a high five to me and you're going to just jump that foot directly behind. If you want to take out the jump, follow me at the beginner and you just step it back. So it's a clap and bring the arm in front. So this is move number four. Let's go 60 seconds. And while you're doing that, here are just some incredible before and afters. I literally get 100 cent to me 
every month. You can always go to my website and have a look at these because these are inspirational. This is real results. This is what works when you do my workout. So let's just keep that going. And the key thing is today, it is about getting your heart rate up. So we're increasing your intensity. And the magic with these seven minute workouts, it's the fact that I'm raising your calorie burn for at least another 10 hours afterwards. All right, that's good. So we're just gonna keep going. And this is where we're doing each workout, each exercise for one minute. So they do feel really tough by the time you've hit 40 seconds, but it's that last 20 seconds is what really gets those results. All right, you're doing really well. Let's keep going. You've got last 10 seconds. And also what I'm doing, we're working multiple muscle groups. We're also working multi-directional as well. We've got three, two, and one. All right, so you've got a little breather here. Now, this one, we're now really working inch away. So come into a split stance, toes are out to a 45 degree angle. If you want to follow a little bit harder, then bend lower into that plie squat and we're taking the arm further over. We're going to do 30 seconds one side, then 30 the other. So imagine you're pushing and then you're pulling something over. The lower you come down into that plie squat, the harder that is. So again, choose that position, keeping that going. So if you do this for seven days, this seven minute workout, and also focus on good nutrition, you are going to get amazing results. But if you are someone that perhaps really is looking at wanting to lose weight a healthy way, then I do have my 21-day online weight loss courses. And these ones, I've designed one specifically for men. There is also one for women as well. All right, let's just change sides now. And in these, I cover everything because it's really important to look at nutrition, we look at portion size, and we look at mindset, which is really key because that's so important. You have to believe you get results because you achieve what you believe on there. So I really focus heavily on the mindset, heavily on the nutrition, and also on the exercise videos. Let's go last five, take it four, go three, and two, and a one. Amazing. All right, so next exercise, move six. We are doing what I call a netball jump. So we're traveling, deep squat, then add a jump. If you want the harder one, follow me, obviously, on the right, or you're just gonna step that across. So deep step and reach up. So again, 60 seconds. And as I said, this is really functional training. This is such a good way. So many people think they have to do like isolated moves, like things like the plank or they need to spend an hour in the gym. You don't. What you want to do is work multiple muscle groups in multiple directions. This is how we get results. And also, this is doable. You can do, you can all find seven minutes a day. You know, the fact these are free, that you can do at home. This is what it's about. It's not a quick stop. We want this to be a lifestyle. This is a healthy journey. And what I want you to focus on, also here, the bigger picture. I want you to realize you're getting your heart healthy. You're getting your mind healthy, your body healthy. This is, to me, what actually excites me more than your inch loss, knowing that I'm investing, getting you to invest your time wisely in your health. All right, that's good. Let's keep that going. Also, if you're on Pinterest, come and find me on Pinterest. Um, I'm under LWR Fitness. Again, loads of videos, tips, motivation, nutrition on there. Two and one. All right, so move seven. We're on the last one now. Now, this one, if you're intermediate, you're going to do like a step back. So it's a little bit of a backward lunge, but an upper body rotation. If you're a beginner, then just take that foot across and just draw the arms alternating from one side to the other. So just pick your move. Again, doing that for 60 seconds. So this one here, again, we are working. If you think about it, we're doing a slight rotational twist. That's where we're then engaging through the waist. That's how I'm drawing in your waist muscles. And always keep the belly button tight to your spine. So as I said, this is series two from my series one, my seven minute one. Now, if you really wanted to get amazing results, there's nothing stopping you doing this one in the morning, then you could also do the other one, the seven minute one in the evening. You know, the great thing is, our bodies are designed to move. So my key thing is always just keep going, push yourself to that point of challenge. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you this that you can print off as well. So I've done you a little table chart that you can use yourself as well to write down your results. All right, we've just got last five seconds coming up now. Amazing, we are nearly finished day five. Let's go four, take it three, two and one and just march that out so a big high five to you from me you did it just keep marching on the spot i'm just going to explain to you this now what you can do at the end of the video you can take a screen grab of this so then literally you can print it off and you can 
put it on a wall somewhere and then you are accountable for doing each seven days because you've got to tick it off. Okay, let's first of all just do some stretches. Take a one foot behind. Now just feel that stretch through the calf muscle. Why it's really good to stretch is it helps realign your body after working out as well and it will also help prevent too much muscular soreness from where we've really worked those muscles, just holding that stretch there. Again, leaning into it. Let's now change and take that to the opposite leg. Just hold that stretch for me. People asking what's the best time to work out. You know, if you can do it first thing in the morning, then you've got it done. And then you can also do another workout later on in the day. As I said, our bodies are designed to move. We need to be more active for our health and well-being. Okay, that's good. So again, we're just feeling that stretch through the back of the lower leg. And don't forget, nutrition is really important. And let's now just take that to a hamstring stretch. So we're going to take that leg in front. Just feel that through the back of the upper thigh. And you can just flex the foot up. So toes pointing up just to increase that stretch for me. Let's now take that to the other leg, holding that there. So as I was saying, nutrition is really key when it comes to living a healthy lifestyle. And I've got two healthy eating books stuffed full of just really simple, healthy, easy to make, really, really quick recipes. And these are all available on my website. Let's just do that quad stretch. Do make sure your supporting knee is slightly bent for me. Holding that, let's change to the other leg. And you should feel really proud of doing these workouts. You know, it's the best thing to do. Exercise really is the cure for everything, as I said. Let's now bring those arms in front. Just feel that stretch through the top of the upper back. Just holding that there, because we've worked the arms a lot today. You know, and so many people think to work the abs, you've got to be on the floor, doing the plank, doing crunches. Trust me, it's about doing full body moves. Let's just take the arms behind, feel the stretch through your upper body. That's good. Um, and by doing that is because we're then increasing your metabolism. Let's just take one arm behind. That's where these workouts, shorter, quick workouts are way more effective. Just feeling that stretch through the back of the upper arm. That's good. And let's now just take that to the other side. And again, just holding that there. And combine this with healthy eating, doing it for seven days. And let's now do a side stretch. Just take your arms up. We'll just get a nice stretch through the waist because we've really worked through those oblique muscles. We've worked through your core. And then we'll get ready to take that now over to the other side. Just really feel that nice stretch. And amazing. So if you like today's workout, then please definitely give it a thumbs up. Now, what you can do with this, as I said, print it off. And then what's a really good thing, before you start the challenge, why not do your measurements? What I recommend is measure around the narrowest part of your waist and then the widest part of your hips. Write down your results before you start the challenge. Then at the end of day seven, then again, measure exactly the same point, the narrowest part of your waist and the widest part of your your hips and then do update me let me know your progress let me know in the comments down below or also you could just find me on social media and just update me on how you've got on but the most important thing is remember this is about your health your well-being this is about making it a lifestyle so any questions you've got let me know in the comments you can also find all my online products online courses ebooks weight loss courses all at lwrfitness.com and definitely if you're not already then definitely subscribe to my channel and don't forget I've got lots more of these seven minute workouts.